Hey there, Saints. Pastor Dave here with another weekly devotional for you this Wednesday. Uh, we've been looking at journeys throughout this season of Lent, and uh, this week we're going to look at part of the prophet Elijah's journey in 1 Kings 19. Now, Elijah had just had a, a big battle with the prophets of Baal, and he came out the winner, but this really upset the evil king and, and his wife Jezebel, and so uh, Elijah is under threat of his life, and, and he's on the run. So then Elijah was afraid. He got up and fled for his life and came to Beersheba, which belongs to Judah, and he left his servant there. But he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness and came and sat down under a solitary broom tree. He asked that he might die. It is enough now, O Lord. Take away my life, for I am no better off than my ancestors. Then he lay down under the broom tree and fell asleep. Suddenly an angel touched him and said, Get up and eat. And Elijah looked. There at his head was a cake baked on hot stones and a jar of water. He ate and drank and lay down again. The angel of the Lord came a second time and touched him and said, Get up and eat, otherwise the journey will be too much for you. Elijah got up and ate and drank. Then he went in the strength of that food forty days and forty nights to Horeb, the mountain of God. Saints, I want you to think about a time in your childhood. Uh, think about a place where you would go when you were having a bad day or a bad time. Maybe it's you know, the bedroom in your home, maybe it's the back porch or somewhere in your yard, maybe it was a playground or a park or somewhere you'd go to meet up with friends. I want you to think about where you would go when you were having a bad day. I think it's safe to say that Elijah was having a bad day. Elijah, feeling like he was the last faithful person to God in the world, feeling like everyone else was out to get him, like there was no safe place for him to go. Uh, and he went out into the wilderness and he found this broom tree and he lay down there and he planned to just die, just to quit, to give up. Elijah was having a bad day and he went to this place where you know, he could be alone, he could he could be alone with his own thoughts. He could deal with that emotional distress. And in that place, he found something he wasn't counting on, he, something he wasn't planning for. He found God's presence and God's support. He, he found, you know, physical food and drink to nourish him and sustain him. He found the, the angel of the Lord there present to encourage him and communicate with him, help him to keep going on. Saints, I think it's important for us to have places where we can go, um, to, to have places where we feel like we can receive strength, or places where we feel safe uh, when we are threatened. It's important for us to have somewhere that we think of as a, a place where God can meet us. And maybe there is a physical place for you, or maybe there's an emotional place that works for you for that. But I think it's important for us to identify spaces in our lives, uh, in our surroundings, that are open to the presence of God. Maybe it's a place that you've been to before, and you didn't intend to meet God there, just as Elijah didn't intend to meet God under that broom tree. But maybe it's a place where you are, are used to going and finding yourself when you're in trouble. Maybe you can look at that place a little differently and consider if God is perhaps there after all, speaking to you, encouraging you, helping you to continue your journey. Saints, wherever you go when you're having a bad time, look for God. Remember God. Consider where God wants to lead you next. And don't get stuck under that broom tree thinking that you're all alone. That's your devotional for this week, Saints. I hope it's helpful. I hope it's worth thinking about. And 
I hope you're doing well. I hope you are staying healthy. I will be praying for you, and I hope you keep praying for me. Y'all take care. I'll see you again soon.